peace. Oh, please. It's obvious. This morning, I had a pretty interesting experience with a lucid dream slash astral projection. So I'm not entirely sure if it was an astral projection or a lucid dream. But he here's the thing. So I started meditating this morning. First, I started with the perineum squeezes to get that energy flowing from my root chakra to my crown chakra and to activate my third eye, my pineal gland, or should I say my first eye. So I did that first because I knew that if I did this exercise, I'd be stimulating my pineal gland so maybe I could get a much more vivid experience, much more, much more enjoyable and maybe even longer lasting experience with an astral projection or a lucid dream. So my goal, my intent was to get an astral projection. So I'm meditating for about an hour. I am listening to the Theta Hertz in, with my headphones. I'm listening to the Theta Hertz with my headphones and I'm meditating, just focusing completely on my breath. And I knew if I was gonna reach the borderline sleep state, this is gonna be the sweet spot for me to astral project. Cause that was preferable than a lucid dream. <laughs> and so I did this, I meditated for about thir for an hour and just about like nothing happened. Maybe it was around the 30 to 45 minute mark where I started getting into, getting close to the borderline sleep state. So what happened was I started seeing, like started getting those visions a little bit. And then I'm like, all right, we're getting close. We're getting close, okay? We're getting close. And so we're getting close. I continue to just focus on my breath and you almost at the same time, like I explained in one of my tutorials, it's like, I'm trying to like not focus on it, but focus on it at the same time. Just, you know, not to focus too hard because that will keep you too aware and kind of not let you get into that borderline sleep state as well. So if I hope that makes sense, I hope that makes sense. I mean, you experiment when you meditate, so try it out. And so, yeah, I did this after an hour went by so I, i'm listening to the theta hertz and i set it for an hour so that when the time was up it wouldn't be an alarm that i would have to click to turn off the alarm and then ruin my whole experience it wasn't like that i i don't like doing that because it ruins the whole experience i tried that yesterday i didn't get anything because i set an alarm for an hour and then once the, the hour was up i had to turn it off with my hand it's like completely takes you out of that state, that deep state. So just want you to remember that when you're trying this. Try to maybe even just listen to a Theta Hertz and set the time for whatever, however long that you wanna meditate for. And then that way you're gonna, you're gonna just, you're not gonna have to turn it off. You're gonna, you're gonna know. And so an hour was up, an hour was up. And I stayed still. I continued to stay still because I knew that I was getting really close. I knew I was getting really close. And I actually have had many experiences, like recently, many experiences where the astral projection would happen after the timer was up. After the timer was up. So the timer's up. I'm still continuing to just focus on my breath. And then this is when it all starts to get spicy, <laughs> juicy spicy juicy whatever <laughs> it starts to get real good and all right so i start feeling i'm in the really deep really deep state trance like state that is the borderline sleep state and and then all of a sudden i start to feel the vibrations i start to feel vibrations rising and rising as you've heard me tell you before that's how it goes and so I felt the vibrations rising so much, so much. And by just focusing my awareness on my breath and not analyzing the situation, I'm able to increase the vibrations. And it's almost like my higher self, my intuition is kind of guiding this. I'm not like, like I wanted to increase the vibrations and it was like not conscious how I was re raising the vibrations because that would kind of like be me intervening with the process it's it, it's kind of difficult to explain but it's like the intuition my higher self starts to rise the vibrations because that was my intent 
And so this, this is happening, right? And then usually I know what happens after this, after I start raising my vibration so much, after I start raising my vibration so much that I usually can see and I get up, I walk, I get up out of my body and I, start, I walk over, I usually go to the window. But here's the, here's the thing. It's not how it happened. It's not how it happened this time. I, the vibrations increase so much and then all of a sudden it ends. It's just, it's just over. It's just over. Okay. And so I decided I continue to lay still, continue to lay still, keep focusing on my breath. And then as I do this, I get the vibrations again. The, the vibrations are coming again. And then I, 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 I see, this is a difficult thing. Because you're laying, st I can't remember exactly how it happened. But here's the thing: it's because you're you're in these deep states. You're in these deep states, and if you keep going on and on and on, like with these, I'll explain by like having the vibrations rise and then going out of this kind of deep state of consciousness, come back and then leaving this state, deep state of consciousness. It's hard to remember everything that's happening, what the sequential event happens. But here, let me tell you about the experience, okay? So, so I, I, I think I rose the vibrations again. I think it, it, it failed again because I, th I think like I had to like swallow because I had so much spit. I had just like mouthful of spit and like I had to swallow. So it died off again. I continue to stay, list, stay still, rose the vibrations. And then, okay, so here's where I don't remember the sequential events of what happened. Um, so... Next thing I next thing I remember, the last thing I remember is what what happened was I was in my bed and I'm like kind of looking over to the side and I, it was it was weird because I've had these dreams where I was in a kind of like in a in a trance state. I had dreams, not I'm not saying astral projection. I had a trance state and in these dreams I would be trying to like raise the vibrations and trying to astral project from my dreams unconsciously. So if I had dreams like that. So I think it might have been something like that. I'm not entirely sure because I can't remember the sequence of all the events because it ha okay. I've had so many events happening over and over again because after this experience I'm about to tell you, uh, there's other things that happen afterwards. And so I, I didn't write down everything that happened right after because I wanted to see how, fur how much further I can take the whole thing, the, the whole journey. So... This, so I'm looking over and like I'm in this deep state, deep like I feel these, I kind of feel like the vibrations I, I believe in. It's, it, it's, it's so hard to put into words this trance state that I was in. But, and then I feel like it was a dream because my girlfriend was here and then like she got like stung by... Uh, I think she got stung by a, a wasp or something. But here, and this is why I think it's also this part was a dream because I had an experience about a month ago, a month or two ago, where I was stung by 20, 20 wasps, and that was, and then after that I was kind of like traumatized, <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> and then like yeah, like I was I was traumatized, like I was feeling stings, even though I wasn't getting stung, like I. Like, I'd be just chilling. I would be getting, like, feeling, like, these, like, stings sensation. So, and then I had dreams afterwards about getting stung again. So, but this, in this dream, it was her. And, and then, like, something my mom, like, was, was, like, yelling from downstairs or something. Like, saying, like, come down and explain the, what happened with the wasp or something. So, I'm like, I, I'm in this trance state. Like, I am in this trance state in this dream. So it's trippy. This is trippy. I'm in this deep trance state, and my mom's telling me to come over to her. So I, I, I don't even remember how I like. I don't even remember the whole process of going over there. Honestly, I just remember appearing in the room where my mom was and my dad was, and so I'm, I'm over there, um, and I guess we're talking about something. I can't remember exactly how it went down but i remember i was still in this deep trance state like i was just and then like i'm just and something a part of me knew like this isn't real this was just like a dream or astral or lucid dream astral whatever i had no idea i wasn't i wasn't putting an exact 
exact dis description to it, exact label to it. I would just like, you know, this is like, I can just lay down. <laughs> so they're like talking to me or something. And I'm just like laying down because I'm in this trance state. <clears throat> and because my whole intent was to astral project. So it's like, if I think this might have been a dream and I was trying to astral project the dream. And I've had this actually, I've had dreams like this before. Um, <clears throat> and so... So I'm laying there and I'm having this deep trance state and all of a sudden, <clears throat> I can't remember if I felt the vibrations rise so much, but I remember, whatever, because you know, I'm, when I'm explaining some of these lucid dreams or astral projections, there will be kind of, sometimes there will be gaps where I won't remember what happened in between. So I was like, usually I feel like the astral projection, I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know. I, I, so I'm standing there, and so we have a TV down there, right? And I'm just looking at the TV, and then all of a sudden, like, I blink, and then the TV's gone. There's, like, nothing there. Like, there's, like, absolutely nothing there. I'm like, what? <laughs> and then, I'll, and then I blink my, again, and then, like, the TV's back. And, and then, yeah, like, the rug was gone. Like, we have a rug. It was, everything was gone. It was, like, oh, nothing there and i blink and then everything's back and so all right i'm next i'm like all right i'm done like i'm done here let's go time to go outside and oh, man i think this was a mistake what happened next i think this is a mistake and so i'm going outside right and uh i'm i'm looking around so uh, I, my intent was like all right let's let's go outside let's see what the environment looks like because usually so yeah at this point i was getting i was like fully lucid basically maybe not not maybe not even fully lucid but i was lucid at this point i was aware of what was going on i don't remember exactly if it was astral projection but you know the the fact that i had so many of the experiences before this where i was trying to vi raise my vibrations all this and like the deep trance state it's like i i can't remember what happened when and so i'm going outside and i'm i'm, I'm aware at this point and i'm just like <laughs> So my goal, as you might know, um, if you watched my videos before, my goal has been to meet my spirit guides. And so my goal was, is to, was to meet my spirit guides. And so walk outside and I'm, I'm, I'm about to yell, right? So I'm, I'm trying to yell, I want to meet my spirit guide or where? Yeah, I think that's, that's what I screamed out. Where is my spirit guide? Or I want to meet my spirit guide. I'm, I'm trying to yell that out but then like one of the words i couldn't even yell out it was like it turned into a whisper oh man i think oh okay so listen oh my i, I just came up with this so i've had so, so recently i've had like plenty of astral projection experiences where I've been trying, I've been yelling out, I wanna meet my spirit guide, I wanna meet my spirit guide. And um, and then like I would encounter someone usually or I would look up in the sky and then I would see the clouds part. And so this time, this time, I could not yell out one of the words or maybe even it was a few of the words, I couldn't yell it out. I can not yell out, I wanted to say, I was trying to say, I wanna meet my spirit guide and then I couldn't yell out and then I'm like, hold on, hold on, let me try, let me try this again. I tried like four times. I couldn't. I couldn't scream it out. I couldn't scream out the whole phrase, and and then I finally did. I was. I took a moment, and then I. I finally yelled it out. Um, oh yeah, before this, before this happened exactly, I was. I went out to the street. I like look over to the left, and th there's like a there's a girl there or a boy. I don't remember. Like some young kid. So I'm like, they're not gonna help me. So I look over and I see. I think another kid there. I'm like, uh. Or I might have seen just some, I can't remember exactly, but I'm at, I, I just felt like they weren't going to help me. They weren't going to be able to help me. And then, so I'm, yeah, so I'm, then I finally yell it out loud. I finally yell it out loud. And, oh yeah, by the way, and I, and I, the scenery was not exact how it is in real life when I was, you know, looking all around. But, so I yell it out finally. And then, this is where the gap happens. This is where the gap happens. And... I guess I was walking around or something. I can't remember if somebody told me, yo, look over there at this building or something. But I noticed this building, okay? So this is where I think I made a mistake, right? I think I, I think 
that I might not have, I should not have maybe yelled out my intent. Like, I want to meet my spear guy. Because I realized earlier this morning, like, because I yelled that out, any, any lower dimensional entity could be, like, trying to take advantage of me. Trying to take advantage of me and trying to lure me into something that I do not want to be a part of. And trying to trick me into some kind of thing. And so, I, j I just realized that this morning. And I realized, why was I not able, I just realized while t making this video right now, why was I not able to yell out? Why was I not able to yell out? Because maybe it was like my higher self, or maybe it was my spirit guide. Oh, the video's about to call. Maybe it was my spirit guide that was silencing me because maybe I, I figured it was trying to protect me. Just now, I just figured that. Maybe something is trying to protect me, my higher self is trying to protect me, to not have me yell out. But I think because I was so persistent, I was so persistent, I think that, you know, angels or spirit guides, there's a, there's a certain amount of free will that us humans have that they can't intervene with. So I think they used a little bit of their intervention by silencing me so that I wouldn't yell it out completely. Because the next experience, oh man, it's gonna blow your mind. You know, it wasn't so, sh it wasn't, like, I was conscious of where what happened next, but, like, I didn't realize how, like, kind of creepy this, this kind of turned out, okay? <laughs> so, oh man, it, it, it's kind of wild, it's kind of wild to think about, but, okay. <laughs> But yeah, I think I think uh, they were intervening a little bit, and maybe it was my higher self that I, or my spirit guide was trying to intervene me to not yell that out, so that you know someone can take advantage of me. But then, because I was so persistent, and I yelled finally, like the fourth time, I was like, "Come on, come on, we got this!" And uh, <laughs> I, I finally yelled out loud. But I think maybe the reason why, no, no, no. Before I say my next conclusion, let me continue on. Why? I think they were trying to silence me, and why, yeah, so, okay, I see this building, I see this building, it, it kind of looks more like a tower, it kind of looks like this big tall tower, it's kind of like a big skinny, like tall tower, and I, so the, the front of it looked like really cool, and the, uh, and while all this is going on, I'm, I'm pretty much like touching things everywhere because I'm not trying to let the this experience die off so i wanted to let you know that i am doing that i am doing that I'm, that was what something i'm doing to help prolong my experience because if you're the sensations feeling and stuff that helps prolong your experience so i see this building i see this tower and it looks really cool it looks really cool it's like <clears throat> it's like all sparkly it, not even sparkly it's all shiny looking it's all shiny looking and it's like I remember it was like shiny purple, blue, shiny blue, shiny gold. And I think I saw something like Mario, like a figure of Mario or something. Maybe like a, like, maybe like a, I don't know. There was, a, there was another picture, but something about Mario was there. Like a picture or something that was also shiny. And I can't remember exactly what it was, but there's this tall, tower right so i go through the gates i go through the gates or the door i can't remember exactly what it was and i'm going through this door right and i so i'm going in and there's this big tower and it's it's like really dark it's like it's just just this, this thin like this thin tower this whole building is just like this little this little tube and there's like the stairs right and it's all dark and it's all dark and i'm like I didn't even think about like maybe this is kind of creepy maybe I should turn back right I didn't think that I was kind of like I hope my I hope this pro this projection this whole experience doesn't end because it's so dark that you know because sometimes when you close your eyes in a actual projection or a lucid dream like it can make the experience it can make you wake up it can make you wake up so I'm like oh I don't want to wake up because it's so dark in here and it's so hard to see and so I just start climbing up. I start climbing up this tower. And um, it's pretty dark, but it actually was, I could kind of see, I could see a good bit. It was like, it looked like kind of like stone walls all around me, in the circular thing. And I'm climbing up, climbing up. I get to the, oh my God, this is creepy, <laughs> right? So <laughs> I get to the very top, I get to the very top. And there is, <laughs> 
I this little being this little being I, I I can't even remember what it looked like I can't even remember what it looked like honestly it's 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 so weird how certain certain things you won't remember like certain certain beings like <laughs> like when I met the aliens it, I actually I do remember what they look like but it's not their face but okay so this time whatever <laughs> uh, this being is like helping me up into their little room and the room is like so tiny it's because this is like this tall tower and it just there's this tiny little room so it helps get me up there and it's this tiny room and I can't even stand in there because it's that small so I so I'm sitting so I sit down cross like and there's two other little things <laughs> two other little beings right so there's that one being in front of me and there's two other beings right here one one right to the side of me to the right and one to the left of me two of these three of these little beings sitting in front of me and and then so I I don't remember exactly if I was trying to tell them about my spirit guy cuz that was my whole intent but um so they start like trying to show me something they start trying to show me something it looks like they're so they're trying to show maybe they were maybe the pictures were of them i can't i can't remember what these creatures or the beings look like i can't remember honestly it's so it's so irritating to not be able to remember that i don't i don't even i don't even think i like took the time to like look and stare at them i it's that's a shame like I need to do that next time but what I was trying to take the time to do was look at what they were showing me Wow that's interesting why was I not taking the time to look at them but I was taking the time to look at what they're showing me even more you know hmm that makes me think like what were they doing something what like was it me or were they doing something so I wouldn't pay attention to them see this is the thing and so they got this thing they're showing me they got this thing they're showing me and it looks like maybe it was a booklet or a piece of paper and there was it looked like there was these three things and they were telling me the names of them and I was like trying to pronounce them but they were so funky the names that they were that they were trying to tell me show me and the, these names, I cannot, I, I was trying to remember them so bad. I'm like, I have to, like, remember this so I can, like, especially tell you all about this, but so I can know for myself. I was trying to remember so bad what the names were, but I couldn't remember. They were just so funky. It was like nothing I ever heard. Like, the names of the things they were showing me, it was like nothing I ever heard before. And, yeah, so that was interesting. I, I can't remember. It was, like, kind of, like, it looked like the... The paper was black, and the uh, and the figures that they were showing me were like white, and I don't remember exact. I can't remember what those look like. I don't remember the words, the funky names. They were, it was so funky, so funky, out of this world. What they were trying to explain to me, and these names, these they were just so out of this world. So I, I'm trying to remember, and then all of a sudden, like I'm just focusing on that. Like, it's, everything starts fading. Everything starts fading into black. I'm like, no, no. I'm like, I'm about to wake up. I think I'm about to wake up. I think I'm about to wake up. I'm reaching my hands out. I'm sitting there cross-legged, reaching my hands out like, I think I'm about to wake up. And then uh, and then all of a sudden, like, somehow, my vision comes back. And then I'm like, oh, okay, good, good. I'm like, all right, I'm like, I don't want to try to remember these names because it's, I, I, like, I don't think I'm going to be even able to remember this. I don't even think I'm going to be able to remember this when I wake up. And then all of a sudden, it's over. It's over. And the whole thing ended. The whole experience was over. And then I just went into, after that, I think I might, I think I woke up and I just stayed still again. I went into another, went into another, like, I think the next, I proceeded with some dreams after that word, after that. And, uh. Yeah, one of them before I go on yeah I guess I'll tell you the next dream but yeah so the next dream I just went into I was like walking along I don't know it was like maybe a lucid dream because I was completely aware I was walking along this like cliffside they're so beautiful so gorgeous and um 
It was it was absolutely phenomenal, like how what it looked like. I I I guess the closest thing I could think of, I, I don't know, like mountainside or something like that. And like there's like water like coming down. This water, like I'm walking along this cliff side, and there's like rock, and then there's like water pouring down. There's water pouring down. And I'm trying to think, like, maybe I should go to the pyramids because I made the TikTok literally yesterday about, like, traveling the world because we can all travel the world because we can actually project and lucid dreams. So I'm thinking, like, maybe I should go to the pyramids because I just made that TikTok. And I'm just, like, after that, it ended. But I'm not going to go into the rest. But I want to explain this. Like, so maybe the reason why... Maybe the reason why I was silenced, first of all, was so that my spirit guides could protect me. Because maybe it wasn't time for me to meet them. Maybe it's not. All these experiences I've been trying to find, maybe it's not time for me to meet my spirit guides. Maybe I have to get more acquainted with the spiritual realms, these spiritual realms. Maybe I have to just get more acquainted with that before I can even meet them. For some reason. I don't know why, but you know, our, our higher selves, they, they know. They know everything. <laughs> and so maybe that's why. And and if, if, if maybe if you even yell out your intent, something like that, you can be played tricks on, you know? Things can take advantage of you lower dimensional beings that you, you don't want to mess with. And perhaps that tower, perhaps that tower that I saw could have been an illusion, you know? Uh, there, oh, there's this video game. Here's, I want to... So this this could explain to you what I mean by illusion. There's this video game, I think, I, I just saw like once a trailer, where this it's like this really dark world and then they have people wear these glasses or lenses on at all times and then, and like you have to wear it I think, and it's like so beautiful, it's all gorgeous, but then when you take it off it's like gross and like ugly and disgusting and like, like dark, really dark. So maybe in that kind of sense maybe you know we can be played tricks on as well in the astral or slash spiritual lucid realms so these maybe these beings even could have played a trick on me because i was yelling out that that stuff that want to meet my spirit guides excuse me maybe they were trying to play a trick on me so that i would go into that tower that creepy tower man I don't remember what these beings were exactly, but uh, that was weird. That was really weird. So you have to <clears throat> have to take that into consideration. That maybe that 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 tower looked completely different. Maybe it looked completely different, but somehow they played it almost like a genjutsu in Naruto. Like in a genjutsu is basically like they make you like see some, or you go into like they almost like hypnotize you, so you see something different and experience something different. So maybe like, they kind of did something like a Genjutsu, like in Naruto. And I saw this tower that looks so cool, so shiny and enticing. I mean, Mario's on it. I'm, I'm familiar with Mario. And man, I'm like, okay, you know, Mario, shiny, looks cool. Let's try this out. <laughs> and maybe that was part of the thing that was gonna entice me and they knew that it would be able to entice me, something like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. And the th well, like, people say like, oh, you know, it could have been an astral projection. I don't know. It could have been lucid dream. I don't know. But people say, oh, you know, lucid dreams, it's all in your head. But how do you know? How do you know? We have so many, we have scientists all over the world. They have no clue what dreams are. They have no clue what dreams are. All these scientists around the world doing all these experiments. They don't know what is consciousness. They don't know. You know, we don't have this information. We, there's so much information that we don't have. So, could have been a lucid dream, could have been astral projection. I don't know. It's all, it's all probably, it's all probably, it's all interlinked. That's what I think. That's what I think. You know, I think it's all interlinked because I'm not going to go into this, but I had a premonition once in a, in a, in a lucid dream and it manifested. And it manifested so accurately, so accurately. And it's like, that was a lucid dream, but it happened in real life. And so many others have premonitions too, lucid dreams, but they happen in real life. So 
yeah. All right, I, I, I want to say that for another topic, but that was or another video, but that was my experience with this astral projection slash lucid dream. Let me know what you think about this. I would love to hear your comments about this. And so yeah, till next time. So yeah, I got some astral videos slash lucid dream videos here. I'll have them right here, right here. And then click the click this button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications, cause I got a lot more videos coming. Peace. Oh please, keep your mind at ease. It's obvious.